Hi everyone, it's Allison here again with New Little Life. In my last video, I showed you how to turn your breast milk into powder that's preserved forever so we can make it into jewelry. If you missed that one, I'll put the link up top here for you. But now is the fun part. Now we get to cast the breast milk into actual jewelry. So stick around and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So once we have the breast milk preservation done and all ground up, we're ready to actually make the jewelry. Now I made a couple of test pieces and they turned out really, really good. So if you can see those little flecks in there, that is the breast milk. I also made one of these pendants. I used two different colors in there. I'll show you that again today. And here's another one that they sent to me to show you that they made with some different colors as well. So that's what we're going for today. Now I got several different kinds of molds, which I would recommend doing because the amount of resin that they give you is quite a lot and you could make a lot of jewelry with this. So when you make up the resin, it's nice to have some extra molds so that you can make several different pieces and you can do some really cool stuff. So I'm glad that I got a, a few different kinds of molds. The resin that they use is really high quality. I chatted with them a little bit about this and I'm really impressed. I don't think this is going to yellow or fade at all with time. So I'm really excited about the resin that they chose to include in their kits. I've also got some of the shimmer powders here. I have a few extra colors too, so I'm excited to try some of these out. These are just the shimmer powders to turn them different colors. So that's a lot of fun. Also came with tips for using the silicone molds and of course the instructions. So let's dive into this. It says I need four milliliters of part A. So you can see on the measuring cup here that it's got it in milliliters. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the four so I know exactly where to go. So there's four. And then I'm going to add two milliliters of the hardener for a total of six. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the six as well. So I can be really precise and get that right. So part A, let's go ahead and do four milliliters of that. And then of the part B, we're gonna do two milliliters for a total of six. The next step says to slowly stir for two minutes. And then you have 20 minutes about to work with it until it starts getting hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir this. Okay, so I stirred that for two and a half minutes, and now you get to do the fun part. You get to add any of the inclusions that you want. So if you're doing breast milk powder, you can do that. You could also do some placenta. If you had it encapsulated, you can break open one of those capsules and do that. You could put some hair in there, anything that is bone dry. So if you're doing like a flower or something that has to be totally dry, and they have a memorial kit also available if you want to do some of that stuff, and it has a drying process as well. But um, we're going to do the breast milk preservation powder today. I'm going to do one of these that's just breast milk, nothing really added, so you can see what that looks like. So I'm going to do a little bit more breast milk powder than I think you normally would. So that is a lot more breast milk powder than you would use if you're adding other stuff to it, but I do kind of want it cloudy so you can't see through it to the jewelry on the back. So I added plenty to that one. Okay, I think I'm gonna make this moonshine shimmer. It says blue aura, that sounds cool. Should we do a purple one? Should we do a lavender one with some lavender flakes? Let's do it. And then maybe I'll do this moonstone shimmer and I'll add a couple of green ones in there so we can see what it looks like. So first I'm gonna do just a pinch of powder. If you already know what you want, you don't have to divide it up into three different containers. Just do one and cast your jewelry. I'm just showing you a few different kinds so you can check them out. Okay, let's do a little bit of purple. I'm not gonna do very much. And I'm gonna do some of these little flakes. Do just a little bit of that powder there. And just for some variety, I'm gonna put some green, little green fleckles in there. The 
cool thing is, is you can totally just mix and match, do whatever you want. Okay, and then it needs to sit for a couple minutes, um, which this middle one has already been doing. Let's go ahead and cast this one. This is straight breast milk and resin only. Perfect, I love that one. Okay, this green aqua shimmer, I think I'm gonna cast in the big one. Be careful not to overfill those, you'll get kind of a weird lip on the outside. Just around the top, pour slow because it does fill quickly as you can see. Let's go ahead and do the purple in this smaller stone. And then for this one, let's get creative. Let's do plain straight breast milk first. I dripped some down the sides and that is gonna cast like that. So if you wanna be a little more careful not to get that on, you can. I kind of like the way it looks though, so I'm gonna leave it. Let's do some purple on top of that. Now let's finish it off with the screen. This needs to harden for at least 12 hours, but I'm probably gonna leave it 24 hours. So let's come back tomorrow and see how they turned out. This piece is cool. When this one is all dried and finished, I'm going to set it in this necklace that I also got from Made in the Woods. So that looks pretty easy, but I'm gonna turn that one actually into a necklace. These moons you can send back and have them wire wrapped like this. So you made the stone yourself, you mail this back to them, and then they hand wrap it in a tree of life setting. It's absolutely beautiful, which I'm also going to do. So make sure you follow me on Instagram for when I get that back so you can check it out. But let's come back tomorrow and see what these look like. These come out of the molds really easily. This one is a little bit more tricky, but you just have to break the suction and work with it quite a bit. I've already worked with it a little bit, so yours might be a little bit harder to get out, but it comes out. So this one does have a little bit of a blue shimmer to it in the sun, and those green flecks are really, really pretty. I really like that aqua shimmer style. It's got those little white flecks of breast milk. Absolutely beautiful one. So this is a great example. You can see on the bottom there how a lot of the breast milk sank to the bottom and kind of collected at the bottom. It looks pretty grainy because if you remember, we didn't grind it up to a really, really fine powder, but I actually love that. So that at the bottom there is breast milk and then there's all the different, remember we added three different colors to that stone. Turned out really pretty though. Here's a purple one, absolutely beautiful. You can see this one has a lot of the flecks in there and any of those white uh, pieces are the breast milk. And here's this beautiful breast milk only stone as well. Let's cast this one into a necklace. So you can order a lot of extra add-ons through Made in the Woods. I got a little necklace here that I'm really excited about. You can do rings, earrings, you can also send your pieces back and have them wire wrapped into these beautiful Tree of Life moons. They're absolutely gorgeous and I'm gonna do that as well. But I wanted to show you guys how to make a quick little necklace so you can have breast milk jewelry literally in seven days from the time you order. This is just incredible. As always, they included care and cleaning instructions and a little note on some tips for making this. So. I have been so impressed with Made in the Woods, I can't say enough good things about this Etsy shop. So I don't know if you can see, but I've got a little lip there on the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and file that off with just an emery board. Perfect.
a perfect fit, obviously. I love this shop. Okay, let me bring you in closer. So it says to use the back of a spoon and just press these down in opposite ways. So let's just do that. All done. You guys, that was so easy. I've never worked with jewelry before. So if I can make this, you can make this. Made in the Woods, I am so impressed with your DIY breast milk jewelry kit. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of where you guys can get this kit. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I loved working with my own breast milk right in my home. You could have a necklace or other piece of jewelry in seven days. That is incredible. Most of the shops that are doing breast milk jewelry, the turnaround time is three to 12 months, which is understandable. It takes a long time and a lot of this is done by hand in a really meaningful way. If you order this kit, don't forget to join their Facebook group. There is so much helpful information in there. If you have comments, you can comment below and I'll help you the best I can, or I'll send you over to Made in the Woods and they can help you. I highly recommend this do-it-yourself kit. I was very impressed with everything from Made in the Woods. Thank you so much for sticking around with me and watching this today, and we'll see you next time.